So today we're reeling this Shimano 600 6208 derailleur. Uh, some tools you're gonna need. This is probably some my pliers, favorite 600 yeah, derailleur. Screwdriver. Uh, the, the big bolt and makes it a little harder keys. to service, but I still like the design. It's the first one that had a SIS, even though. All right, now it's time for the binnacle. First thing you want to do, pull back the cage and unscrew that pin. Let's spring back. And then you want to unscrew this bolt. Now you want to unscrew this bolt because there's a little plastic attachment to it. Now you want to just pull that off as well. Now you want to grab your clip and put your pick in and pull it off. Now you want to grab this tab and pull it towards you and it should spring out. If it doesn't want to spring out, you just want to grab your pick and kind of wedge it like this. Wedge it in between like this and it should come loose. There we go. All right, now everything's all nice and taken apart. Now it's time to clean. For this, you can use a cleaner or a degreaser. You can also use a wire brush, like a brass brush. And if you have any rusty parts, you can use some vinegar or you can use some aluminum foil and water. And some other good things to use are brake cleaner and acetone. And in my case, I'm using this ultrasonic cleaner. All I'm using is water and dish soap. All right, now everything's all nice and cleaned down. And for some of the chrome parts, like the bolts, I use some of this quick glow wax. And for the aluminum, the parallelogram, I use this Mothers. And for the assembly, another thing you're gonna need is grease. I'm gonna use some of the SRAM butter stuff and some of this Park Tool General Grease. All right, first thing you wanna do, just grease up the inside nice and good. Then you wanna grab your little seal, slide it on, and grab your bolt and Rotate it through, put it through with a rotating motion like this. Now you want to grab your spring, you want the long end sticking up. Find the little hole in there and stick it in. Then grab your plastic seal, slide it on. And then put on your little spring retainer thing. You can also slide the plastic seal right off to this onto the retainer part and make sure it goes all the way down like this Then you want to grab your pliers and you want this tab to go all the way behind here you want to grab your pliers and you want to twist it and you want to push down push out the bolt and then grab your clip slide it on there you go now you want to put on your little plastic your little plastic seal whatever you call it if it's still alive and then put in your B limit screw bolt all right and same thing for the binnacle you want to grease it up inside nice and good you want to grab your little plastic then you want to grab your plastic seal make sure the groove is facing up then you want to slide it onto your bolt like that now you want to put some grease on your bolt and then grease up the little area on top right here just a little bit and slide it on with a rotating motion. All right, now you want to grab your spring. Again, you want the long end facing up. Find the other hole in there and stick it in. Then get your plastic seal, slide that on. And then when you screw on your other, when you screw on your cage, you want to have this little washer here. And now when you screw on your cage, there's two little holes. The left one is the tighter one, the right one is the looser one. And 
And now your cage looks like this and then you want to rotate it counterclockwise all the way around over here and then you want to screw in your pin into that hole. And once you got the pin in, you want to tighten this bolt down a little bit more. Just make sure it's all the way in and make sure the cage moves nice and smooth. All right, and now for the pulleys, you want to grab your ceramic bushing. That's going to be the guide pulley. You want to grease up the inside. I'm going to use some of the SRAM butter stuff. Then you want to grab your other bushing, put it in with the rotating motion. And then you want to grease up the inside of that one too. And then put on your bigger seals. All right, and now you want to grease up the little bolt and slide on your pulley and same thing for the other pulley and then you want to just make sure they spin smooth tighten them down nice and snug put on your barrel adjuster and your clamp bolt and you have yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur this is probably my favorite 600 derailleur i like the design overall except for the big bolt it makes it kind of hard to service the b-knuckle but anyway uh this is the, also the first one that came with sis even though we all know you can use any derailleur with any shifter that isn't SRAM. Thanks to everyone who subbed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.